Hello, hello, welcome. You're at Reaction Talk. I'm Angie, and we have some John Farnham updates, some news, and some special exciting news of a movie that is coming to a theater, or theaters, I should say, if you are in Australia. I uh, just found out about this from our Aussie sis, Jen. Thank you, Jen, and I hope you feel better, hon. I really do. I hope you're uh, getting some uplifting and maybe listening to some more John so that he can help bring you, uh, you know, up and, and feel better because everybody struggles. And, uh, you know, as we get older, we all have good days and bad days. So uh, anybody who's been following John knows that he actually went back into the hospital recently with a respiratory infection, and thank you to the... Uh, John Farnham fan who told us about that in the comments. Um, I really do appreciate all of the people who would like to keep us updated because uh, we don't know. We live across the other side of the world and there's a lot of stuff that gets lost in the cracks, especially because we're over here in America. And um, I will put a link to the Tommy uh, reaction that me and Roland did to The Voice uh, by Tommy uh, Johansson. Johan Johansson. Uh, I'll put a link, a card, it'll be up here, up there, and, uh, so you guys can check that out. That was pretty amazing, but still, for me, I prefer, you know, John's version, just, there's just something to it. Uh, it's, it's almost a little bit more, um, probably because he, there's so much history that goes with it, and, and, uh, I don't know, it was just, I, I love Tommy, and I love what he does with his music, too, but... I was a definitely I'm a sucker for that original by John Farnham. So, um, okay, so today uh, Sony Pictures just announced. I, I as far as I know, this just came out to uh, maybe Jen knew before. Maybe you guys in Australia have already known for a while, but new to me that there is a movie coming out, a documentary about John Farnham and his, the Finding the Voice. It's called. So, um, how cool is that? Here on the Facebook page, uh, they are, uh, advertising it, and we're gonna watch the trailer to this documentary, and I'll put links to everything in the description, everybody, so that anybody who's interested can go, and you can pre-order a copy if you're not in, uh, Australia, because I do not believe it is coming to the theaters in America. I tried looking it up, and I didn't see anything, so if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but yeah, this is actually pretty exciting, and, uh, I, I'm definitely gonna get it, so I, uh, I want to be part of this and I will actually probably be reacting to it. I don't know if that will be with or without Roland, but I will be reacting to this full documentary and it probably won't be able to be uh, available on YouTube. It'll probably be only available on Patreon because they um, there's a separate agreement that goes along with them uh, that uh, for copyrighted material that it's it's a little different for the terms so uh because i'm not trying to copyright infringe on anybody's intellectual property but uh we do want to be able to give the fans uh the farnham fans you know a true reaction uh of what we think of this documentary so whether that have to be a block or a filter or something you know we'll figure it out at the time when that comes but i do want to say that this is for sure going to be something that uh, high up on my list because uh, it's been a while since we've reacted to any of John's music. Um, we took a little break there. We were getting a little, um, pr you know, overwhelmed with, we had done a ton, over 65 reactions of John. So you can only listen to the same song so many times in a condensed time frame before you might get a little tired of it. So we need to take a little break and now we're coming back to regroup and connect with some of you Ozzy's out there and say hey how you doing hope all is well we are entering spring you guys are just getting out of summer getting into the fall I believe so um it's a crazy mess out here we had huge winter snow lots of snow here in the midwest 
record third on record so a lot of uh, melting going on right now and we're getting into the warmer temperatures finally so uh, hope everybody is doing well and uh, let's find out what this documentary is about so here we go um john farnham finding the voice official trailer coming to cinemas in australia may 18th Music is so important to us. There was something about his voice that was just so appealing. His voice was incredible. He can heal you. People just worshipped him. It fills in the gap where religion should oh, be. Oh, Robbie. You can feel their voice. Who the hell is this guy? It is a heroic story. It can go straight to somebody's heart. That's what it was. That's what it did. What? The voice. When he sang the voice and performed it, and I watched it for the first time, it came from his heart and that's the best way to describe it a lot of the time that you know it's very i mean i'm getting goosebumps just talking about it because it's just so he's very much a giver we'll just say he's a giver and he he literally gifts us with uh the voice i'm gonna go back a little bit i'm gonna start it over just because i wanted to catch some of that reaction from some of the other celebrities. I saw Olivia and Robbie. Music is so important to us. There was something about his voice that was just so appealing. His voice was incredible. He can heal you. People just worshipped him. It fills in the gap where religion should be. He can feel their voice. Who the hell is this guy? It is a heroic story. It can go straight to somebody's heart. Number that you'll ever do. Wow, I've never Ladies seen that one. John, you are the best singer in the country. That's the voice. Either I was working or I was asleep. So when I was awake, I was vulnerable. People never really saw me as a credible singer. Do you like the old song? I remember coming off the stage one night and he punched the locker door and he smashed it in. She said, let's take Robert to McDonald's for dinner and I actually couldn't take them. We didn't have the money. He was yeah, I remember that. Track. Do you ever get depressed at all? Yeah, a lot. I tried to get him a record deal and everybody passed. Yeah. We lost mm. track of John. His spectacular voice was missing in action. The story of Glenn's belief in John is legendary. Wow. This was John's almost audition to the world. So they're going to capture that that Cinderella story of his comeback, which is actually that gives me chills, too, because um, he did believe in him so much that it carried their belief actually probably is what helped bring him right outside of his talent. But that, no, we're going to do this. It's going to go. We're going to push this right coming from a despair place because he they were down in their luck. And I believe this. uh Somewhere during this time, he had a restaurant with, um, what is the other singer's name, you guys? I can't remember her name on the top of my head. Is it Carolyn? Carolyn, I think. Had a restaurant with another singer, um, and then it fell through, too. So there was all kinds of demoralizing things happening in his life. So good for him that he was able to come back. I mean... This is a great story. It's probably one of the best stories um, from from like a music, you know, behind the music type of thing that for me, because he's not, you know, it's not been here in America, but then just the amount of people he's touched, right? And just, it's just a big deal. I mean, Robbie hit it head on. I mean, he, where people, there's, this is why a lot of people, I think, aren't religious that follow Farnham because he kind of filled that gap for them in a way like Robbie mentioned so um no judging just you know we everybody goes to different things when we are in empty places or dark places or unknown places and we we latch to things and music is a very number one thing probably bigger than therapy or religion right I would say music in itself serves this for many 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 people outside of even John Farnham, so. All right, let's go back. World again. My publishing company said, John Farnham has recorded You're the Voice. Is it okay to give him permission? And I said, 
No. We went ahead and did it anyway. Really, they weren't supposed to record it, but they did. And he sang really? the living hell out of that song. It's awesome. And that became the one. They didn't have permission. He went to number one in West Germany this week, number one in Sweden, roaring up the French and Italian charts. Oh my God, he's found his voice. This is dangerous. He won't surrender. You don't like to think of yourself as a legend, but you are. Wow. In cinemas, May 18th for all the Aussies. How exciting. Um, I am going to be part of that. I won't be able to, to attend physically, but I will be having a theater here and watching it and reacting to it because I am so excited for this. I can't even tell you. Um, becoming familiar with his music and being introduced to the to the wonderful people that all over the world, especially the Aussies, that just adore him and love him, and then his his hum humility. His he's so for the most part humble, right? And he he's smiling and happy. And I'm thinking we're gonna see some of the behind the scenes, and he probably tucked that away, right? And just made sure that he presented himself in a way that was loving and giving to everybody as he delivered his performances, his art, his music. So. Um, very excited for that and everything will be in the description box below I'll put as many links as I can or cards up so that you guys can uh, see this and get uh, access to the websites that are offering pre-order right now um, excuse me May 18th I believe it comes out or May 23rd might be for the oh May 23rd might be for the um, for the pre-order so let's see here uh, pre-order May 19th. Okay, so like the day after it releases in the theater. So not too bad. Um, but yeah, exciting, exciting. I am just, uh, we are going to have to go back and figure out, I'm going to look for that performance that they previewed on there. I didn't see him do that before. I've seen Sadie, and I think that's the only one I really have seen of him in when he was that young. So I'm going to go look for that one and get that one reacted to because I liked what I heard so let's check that out all right everybody I hope you enjoyed this little sneaky peeky that we did and look forward to coming out it's like a month a little over a month and let's give some uh, good you know positive energy his way good vibes prayers and hope that he uh, I'm not sure if he's out of the hospital yet so tell me in the comments I hadn't heard yet about that if he was released or if he's still in there, but let's hope that he's getting the treatment that he needs and can get better quickly um, because we don't like to hear when he is not doing well. So, all right, we will see you, everybody. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.